Thomas, you're going to keep getting in trouble until you learn to pay attention! Now pick those up and organize them by how much they need sharpening. <laughs> wow, guys, we need to have a talk about keeping this place clean. Don't just stand there sipping smoothies. Today is the deadline to submit for the Young Genius Award and I can't find my miracle slurper. It uses high-powered suction to collect and purify water at a distance of up to 30 feet. We'll help you find it. What does it look like? Well, it looks like a hollow tube with lights and a motor. John, that invention you said I could bring to school got me in trouble! I was using it to shoot spitballs at my teacher, but it got too powerful and the spitballs went through the wall, so my teacher took it away. You know which invention I'm talking about, right? The tube with the lights and the motor. <laughs> <laughs> You don't give away other people's things, Tom! You don't give away other people's things! I can explain. See, it was early this morning and I was hard at work on a project of my own. Wow! Amazing! I know, right? It's incredible! Yeah, that might be tough, but if you can find a way to get it there, sure. <laughs> Thanks, Tom! Huh? Forget that! My invention is gone! Well, it's not really gone. Ginger's teacher has it. Right! All we have to do is go to a school and get it back. Except my teacher said that my parents would have to come get it. Like I said, all we have to do is get Ginger's parents to go to a school and get it back. Except my parents are in the South Pacific riding submarines. Okay, what if... Angela and I pretend to be Ginger's parents, uh -huh. meet with his teacher, and get the Miracle Slurper back. Ginger, yeah. hold still. Yeah. Oh, you're a mess. Stop it. I look fine. Man, it feels like just yesterday I was running this school. If these walls could talk, huh? What would the talking walls say? Ginger, you didn't tell me your teacher was Miss Fanthrax? You didn't ask! I can't go in there. She was my teacher too, and she's the scariest person I've ever met. Your old teacher shouldn't scare you, Tom. Uh-huh. You're a grown-up now, just like her. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah. No, Tom, come ah. on, Dad! Ah. 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 No! Ah. Ah. I'm glad we're finally meeting, Mr. and Mrs. Ginger. Anthrax. Isn't that right, honey? Huh? <laughs> right. Um, anyway, my son, who is Ginger, who is definitely my son, has told me so much about you. Has he now? I'm surprised he could stop shooting spitballs long enough to tell you anything. <laughs> That's our little prankster. But really, he is a good kid, and we'll make sure this never happens again. That's good to hear. Remember, discipline begins at home. We got the machine! Let's scram! I mean, shall we leave, mother and father? <laughs> See what I mean, prankster? Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> I recognized you the second you walked in. Thomas, my old student. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your little back to school visit. Because it just got extended. What? No, no, no! Way to go, Dad! It's not fair! You come into my classroom, you play by my rules. Welcome to detention, troublemakers. We gotta break out of this prison. Get me out. Shh. I have a plan. Huh? What? What? Two. Uh, no, 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 just now. Uh, uh, <laughs> <sighs> nice try, Thomas. Oh. But it looks like all your detentions just turned into double detention. Oh, no! I can stay here all night. Nobody's waiting up for me at home. 
just one benefit of being a single gal. The point is, you three aren't going anywhere. This isn't fair! I was just sitting at my desk like a well-behaved boy. A well-behaved boy wouldn't be in detention in the first place. <laughs> All right, Miss Van Thrax. If that's how you want to play this, that's how we'll play this. I know my rights. I want my phone call. <gasps> how did you know? Oh, fine then. You must think you're real clever. What phone call? School handbook rule 437. Anyone sentenced to detention is allowed one phone call to the parent or guardian. <gasps> you get one phone call. And only one phone call. <laughs> so you better make it count. Hello? Hey, Angela. What? Mom? Oh, this is Hank. Angela, what are you doing? Hi, Mom. I'm calling from detention. Are you speaking in code? Confirm or deny, you're in detention, and you're using school handbook rule 437 to let me know. That is surprisingly specific. Oh, no. Now I'll never get the miracle slurper in time. No! You! It looks like the best way to stay out of jail is to break out. They did it! Just like the last time I watched this episode. Hmm, Angela, Mom is coming for you. seen you since the teacher's pet mixer. <laughs> uh, what's going on? What in the world are you doing here? Well, well, I'm trying to retrieve an invention of mine that someone gave away without permission. It's a water collection and purification device that apparently can also be used to make, uh, <clears throat> spitballs. <laughs> what a delightful misunderstanding. I'd love to see this in action. I'd be happy to show you. Um, hello. What about us? Um... You know, Miss V, Angela was just, uh, trying to help me. And Ginger is just a kid. Oh, very well. You two, prepare to be educated. Learning's <laughs> fun! Hey, yeah. what about me? Oh. I think you need a little longer to learn what was wrong about what you did. What? You can't do that! No talking, Thomas! <laughs> now let's go, youngster. Wisdom awaits. Yes! Wait! Come back! Don't leave me here! You can't leave me here! Will somebody answer that? Ben's phone. <gasps> Miss Vanthrax. Miss Vanthrax? No! Uh, Ben is very busy at the moment. Give me that! Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Benjamin. <laughs> oh, Velma, you sound awful. <laughs> I've come down with a cold. Uh. Now, the class needs to decide on a project for next week's science fair. And I was wondering if you were free. <laughs> it would be an honor. <laughs> Excellent. Now, it's not for amateurs, so no baking soda volcanoes. <laughs> Understood. I want that first place ribbon, Ben. I want it bad. <laughs> I won't let you down. Miss Lathrax sure was bad of you yesterday. Hey, I just left my skateboard in the hall. She's the one who decided to slip on it. <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm your substitute teacher. As you may have heard, Miss Vanthrax is homesick. Yeah! <laughs> okay, take your seats. Man, we just hit the jackpot. Ben's not a real teacher. He's just a guy. Uh -huh. Our goal is to come up with an idea for the science fair. I've printed information on some exciting fields to pique your interests. Microentomology! 
Xenopaleontology, Botanomineralogy. Are your interests piqued? Eh? <laughs> Ginger. Huh? Are you even listening to me? What did I just say? Um, there's a fair and interest. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ginger. The fair is extremely important. We need to come up with an idea. Let's just make a volcano. No volcanoes! Come on, cut the mean teacher act. It's me. Yeah, boy. <laughs> You just lost your class there, racist. <gasps> Wait, what? You can't do that. I just did. And if anyone has a problem with that, you can thank your boy. Miss Vanthrax, I'm gonna take this in the hall, and when I get back, I wanna hear some good ideas for our project. You're gonna pay for this. <laughs> oh no, they're behaving. I just had to show them who was boss. Excellent. That first place ribbon is as good as yours. Mm. Well, I hope so. I'm going back to sleep now. Don't screw up. I can make this right, I promise. Oh yeah. How are you gonna do that? I've got a plan. All right, class, let's see what you've all come up with for the science. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. It was you or me. <laughs> Attack! Those little savages! How dare they disrespect an educator like this! Hey, uh, Ben, you have something on your face. What? And uh, most uh, of your body. Uh, no, 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 no. Ms. Vantrax is going to come back to a class that hasn't even started the science fair project. Oh, I'm a failure! A failure! Ben, sounds like you might need my help even more. You don't know these kids, Tom. They're monsters! Well, when it comes to dealing with monsters, you might say I'm pretty handy. <laughs> Are you sure about this, Tom? Just follow my directions and say what I tell you. Oh, and be cool. Together, buddy, or you're gonna lose them. So, have I got your attention yet? You? Excellent. Now, what do you want to learn about today? No wrong answers. Um, math? Wrong! What do you really want? Um, video games? Great! Let's play video games! <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Ben. Keep it up. The day is almost over. What? But we haven't even started the project. Huh? Right, right. Okay. I should probably mention cool teachers don't get a lot done. <gasps> <gasps> Class, we mustn't neglect our science fair project and everyone get some grass and stinks! Hey! Science stinks! Science Quiet! We goofed around all day, so now we're doing this project whether you like it or not! Pathetic. It's not my fault! The paper cheated! 
The paper never had a chance, Ginger. The aerodynamic forces on that thing are totally off balance. Whoa! Wait, science can make paper airplanes better? Whoa! Oh, that's way cool. What is going on here? Velma, you feeling better? I was, until you turned my classroom into a rumpus room. But, 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 but you I... should be ashamed of yourself. <sighs> Excuse me, Teacher Ben. I need to improve the arc of my plane's flight path. What can I do? Hmm, it looks like you're forgetting one of the four major forces that act on a plane. Remember, And be after all these years. Oh! I'll increase my wingspan to get more lift. children so eager to learn. Excellent work, Benjamin. Excellent. Yay! 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 